Hello everyone, it's me again, Cassie. You're local, or maybe not local, I don't know where you live, but I live in New York City and I'm a barista. I was just on Instagram for a while, I, I don't really know where I am right now. Hi everyone, I'm kicking off a new vlog. When I just finished the last one a few hours ago, edited it, read my book a little, went on Instagram a little, and now I'm about to jet off into my evening plans. It is Tuesday today. I had work this morning. I woke up at 5.30. But honestly, I've been sleeping so bad. I am a barista. Did I just say that? Hi, let me do my real intro. I'm Cassie. I live in New York City. I'm a barista. I'm a lover of life, mental health, riding the wave, finding the magic in the everyday. There you go. That's me. And I'm about to go see Wonka with my friends um, for the bit. We're meeting at my friend Ahun's apartment and he is getting us Taco Bell. And then we're going to go on over to the AMC and have have a jolly good time. I bought some candy and my battery's about to die. So let's keep the intro short. I'm just gonna vlog the next few days in my life. I have some fun plans. I have a scary doctor's appointment that we're gonna talk about and it's all just gonna flow. Welcome. I'm in my comfy sweat set and I gotta go figure out what to wear because it is raining in New York today. Also, I'm so tired and I kind of just want to go to bed, but I know I'm gonna have fun once I get there. All right, let's go. so windy. My umbrella turned inside out. My dumb bodega umbrella is useless. A stormy night in New York City. And my hair, crazy. <laughs> Look at it! to get to work. I'm closing today. So I work from 12.30 to 6. I actually slept pretty well last night. Wonka was great also. All of us were surprised at how good it was, but we loved it. Cried my little eyes out. They totally Barbie movied us. They Barbie movied us. I did not know it was gonna be that good, but I kind of want to see it again already. I mean, I'm not gonna go pay to see it again. I'll watch it when it's streaming. Timothy Chalamet was great. And then I came home and slept so hard for nine hours straight. I'm laying in bed all morning. I'm continuing through my quest of reading Crescent City and I just finished uploading the video for today. I edited everything yesterday, but I had to finish the thumbnail and a couple little things. I need to officially start getting ready for work. Hopefully it'll go by fast. I'm working with my friend Frankie, so that'll be fun. And then her and I are actually going to Drunk Shakespeare tonight. Her boyfriend is in it and it's his debut. So we got comps and I'm really looking forward to going and having a little girls night with her and supporting her boyfriend. And I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it, but also my bed is feeling really comfy right now. I do not want to leave it. We're at the time of year and we have been for a while and I'm gonna keep saying it because it's gonna make me feel better. Where I like doing fun stuff and I have fun once I'm out and about, but there's always a little part of me that's like, what if I was just in my bed right now? Like what if I was just laying and being comfy and reading my book and just being warm and cozy. I'm so excited for spring to come so that I actually feel like energized and social and like myself. Right in the wave of winter, everyone. We got this. I'm gonna get out of bed. It's all gonna be fine. <laughs> We meet again. This time I am an absolute tornado rushing around to get ready because my shift at work ended at six. The show I'm going to with my friend is at seven. It would have been like 20 minutes home and then it's about a 20 minute walk to get to the venue. I uh, closed as quickly as possible and now I've just gotten ready in two minutes. Maybe I should button the sweater all the way. Or like leave one button unbuttoned. Yeah, I ate an expired sandwich that was going out today at work for dinner. And I'm gonna eat some candy on the walk over. I'm actually really excited though. I've seen Drunk Shakespeare two other times, just like in the past, but it's at a new venue now. And I don't know if they've changed anything about the show. It should be fun. I'm excited to hang with my friends. 
and just have a fun little girls night and also it starts at seven and she said the show is like an hour and a half long so i'm gonna be home by nine and probably in my bed and i can read my book a little and then go to sleep because tomorrow is the doctor's appointment which we'll talk about more later i think i'm ready i feel like this bag doesn't really work with everything else i'm wearing but it's just gonna have to do i'm gonna be in the theater anyways and i'm gonna put some boots on let's rock and roll early i think i'm gonna beat my friend i was just like on go mode since i was closing so for like the last hour and a half and i'm sweating oh, we're almost there and look at the empire state building The show was a blast. I think I said before that was my third time seeing it when it was a different venue So it was way bigger. It was cool to see Frankie's boyfriend at his debut He did fabulous and then afterwards Frankie and I went and got some snacks and just chatted for a while We had some girl time and it was so much fun. I love having happy Connected nights with my friends. It just makes me feel so happy and fulfilled especially in the darkness of winter my theme until winter is over is doing things despite the darkness of winter because you know what we need to be proud of ourselves for something okay and for me it's that i'm tired i have a doctor's appointment to wake up to in the morning which i feel like i've been teasing but we'll talk about it it's all i'm fine I have a lot of anxiety about going to the doctor and it's something i need to do and i'm going to do it i'm gonna go take a shower i'm gonna get a good night of sleep and then tomorrow i'm gonna doctor grocery shop yoga work maybe go out to dinner with mom we'll see how the doctor's office affects my mental health okay bye sleep well good morning it is just before eight almost to my doctor's appointment basically what's going down is i've had chronic back pain for much of my young adult life it started in high school. It started as low back pain, which turned out to be an SI joint issue. In 2022, I went to physical therapy for that. That same summer, after I finished physical therapy for low back pain, I started getting this upper back and sternum pain, which I did nothing about. I told my doctor about it last spring at my regular physical, and she prescribed me to get some x-rays done so that we could see if anything was up with the curvature of my spine, and I just never did it because I was scared. <laughs> I'm off to the x-ray appointment right now. My assumption is that after the x-rays, my doctor will either message me or I'll have to go see her, and then we'll know what's going on and we'll be able to go from there. I'm nervous, but I'm doing it. Being brave today. It's actually a beautiful morning. I'll also gonna go grocery shopping afterwards because I buy Whole Foods. did it. I'm a big girl today. So they're gonna send over the x-rays to my doctor and in the next 24 hours I'll know something. Oh my god. Hello everyone. Oh. I'm gonna do this so in case you're naked. Oh, it's not on the internet. Hello everyone. I feel like I look kind of rough right now. I think it's just the lighting and also I'm tired. It's 6.57 and Mel and I are gonna go out to dinner. We are going on a little dinner date to this restaurant that we went to two years ago. She came and visited me January 2022. Is that right? She came and visited me in January 2022, shortly after I had moved here. And we went to this restaurant that's a plant-based sushi restaurant. It's called Plant to Queen. It's down, I think, in Nomad. I remember it being delicious. Specifically, I remember absolutely nutting over the udon noodles. So I am very excited to go again. 
two years later and try the stuff and see if it holds up and also just eat delicious stuff and hang out with my friend. It's gonna be a great night. I am tired. I really have more energy than I expected to at this point in the week because I've had a lot of plans. Like I've done stuff after work most days. I feel like over the last month or so, I really haven't had the energy to keep having plans. So it's kind of nice to have energy. And I guess that's all I have to say. I'll take you along for the ride. You'll get to see some delicious stuff. And then maybe if you come to New York, you can eat it and it's gonna be great. What if I was sponsored? Can you get sponsored by a restaurant? I'm sure you could. Maybe I will someday. Why does this look blurry? Oh my god. This bag of peanuts. That's hilarious. I'm going for a casual bag. I've got on this very shirt and some jeans. And maybe I'll wear boots, but maybe I'll wear tennis shoes. Also, I have not heard from my doctor yet anything about my x-rays. They posted the results, but my doctor still has to go in and like view and respond and give her input on what's going on. I, I feel kind of fine about it. I don't know if I explained all my doctor anxiety in this video. I've talked about it before. Basically, I've just had a lot of experiences with doctors where they charge me way more money than I expected them to after I explicitly communicated that I didn't want to be charged extra or like have extra stuff done if it was going to cost me money. So the money stuff is stressful for me when it comes to doctors, even though I have health insurance through my parents for now. And also I've had experiences with doctors where they just blatantly didn't listen to me when I was talking about what I wanted for myself and the care of my body. Oh. So, that's great. But we don't need to worry about any of that anymore. Cause we're going to dinner. We're going to dinner. We're gonna eat some delicious stuff. Some plant stuff that some may plant. or may not taste like fish. That's what we're gonna discover. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you won't be eating fish by the end of the night. Trader Joe's haul of the year. It's not a full grocery haul. Uh, as I said yesterday, I did go to Whole Foods and I got a lot of stuff, but I forgot one thing, which was turkey, like sandwich meat. So of course I went to Trader Joe's and spent $25. And here's what I got. The aforementioned turkey, little peppers, oat milk, chomps, my tarts. And last but certainly not least, two mac and cheese. And that's it, folks. That's everything. I'm home now. I slept so bad last night. I ate so good, and I slept so bad. My hat left this little indent on my head that I guess is still there, so that's awesome. I'm breaking out <laughs> for no reason. I woke up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. because I had a bad dream, but I don't remember what it was anymore. Work was good. I chilled with my homies at work. It was fun all together, as fun as work can be. Now I gotta do my laundry and also edit this video. Hopefully just have like a chill night because I haven't had a night to myself. I don't remember the last time I did. I'm ready to just chillax and read my book. I think my videos have been a little shorter lately than they ordinarily are. I'm kind of getting back in the swing of the whole Wednesday, Saturday upload schedule because Vlogmas was just madness. I didn't do a lot during it of like actual stuff I feel like because I had so much Vlogmas to do. This is really making me crazy. I hope it's not there all day. But now I'm trying to like live life and find a better balance, but it means maybe that I'm not vlogging as much. Every week is different. You never know what life's gonna bring you, but we're riding the wave and I appreciate you being here to do it with me. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And go do something that makes you happy today, like read a book or eat something delicious or even just like walk around your house naked. That sounds good too. I hope you're having a good start to the year. It's not even the start anymore. It's the 12th. I hope life is good. I really need to eat something right now. So that's the energy that you're getting from me. I'm gonna go eat lunch and I'll talk to you again soon. AKA probably later tonight or maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow, but you'll see it on Wednesday because you're gonna see this tomorrow, but I'll be talking to you in a different video tomorrow. <sighs> okay, bye.